Here's the second and five. Mayfield looks to the right, shrugs the shoulder, goes down the middle, and he's picked off. Right into the hands of Jimmy Smith. The Patriots and Texas. Look at this one. That's Jackson to the end zone for the touchdown. Up the second with a Jackson Peak. Jackson touch to the end zone for the touchdown. A fourth and ten, and here they come. Mayfield's pass is intercepted by Mosley, and the Ravens are going to take the division. To the playoffs, we're going to the playoffs. We're going to the playoffs. Oh man, this, I, I. I, I am just, man, I am so happy, but my God, that game was a lot closer than I thought it would be. I got to give my props to Cleveland. They came out here, and they played a great game. They fought through and through, even being down by, like, what was it, 24, sorry, 17 to 7, and, no, 20 to 7. As much as 20 to 7, they fought back, they kept this game closed, and they had an opportunity to march down the field and beat this Ravens team and just upset us and rip our hearts out. Baker Mayfield, he played amazing. I know he had three interceptions. I don't care about the three interceptions because he played phenomenal. He picked apart this Ravens defense, and he made big throws down the field all game. This defense had trouble trying to get to him. I, we, we couldn't get any pass rush. We couldn't get any pressure on him. Well, we got pressure on him, but we couldn't really get to him because he kept rolling out to his right and just continued delivering bombs down the field. Baker Mayfield is a special talent. He's going to be great for this Cleveland Brown team. And I'm telling you now, the Browns, I feel, I'm feeling it, man. We will have to see next year, but Baker Mayfield is going to take this Brown team to the next level. Oh, so, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought, sorry, the Titans and Colts game's coming up. I'm, I'm about to watch that too after this because, you know, that game's going to be important. Andrew Luck's going to get it done. I have that. Colts beating, winning this game, but we'll get back to the analysis here. Yeah, Baker Mayfield, he's going to be great for this team coming forward, and the Browns are going to be a contender in the coming future. So, Pittsburgh, if you're sitting here thinking this is the same old Browns, they are not the same old Browns. You should know that. They are not the same old Browns, and they are ready to take it to you. They are going to be a tough team in the future and prepare for them. I love what I'm seeing with the Cleveland Browns, and I can't wait for the next time we face them off because now the AFC North is starting to get better and more competitive, and now Cleveland seems to be starting to revive in this millennium, and it's just great. Now, for the game itself, um, in terms of our offense, Lamar Jackson, he did a couple things with his arms. He made some good passes, made some you know, a couple, maybe like two or three passes down the field that connected. He was pretty solid. You know, he, he wasn't as accurate as you expect him to. We already know the guy's accuracy is something he needs to fix. He was 58% completion in this game, 179 yards. He didn't throw for a touchdown. But on the running game, this man took off. He was killing it early on. He had specific runs in which he took off was killing it. Two rushing touchdowns, man. The whole game, you know, Cleveland knew what we were going to do. We, they knew we were going to run the ball with Lamar Jackson. And still, they had trouble stopping this early on. Lamar took off for a 20, I think it was a 25-yard touchdown early in the first quarter. And it was just, it was crazy, man. It was He just took off the running game. Dixon got a lot of good runs. Kept, just kept jerking it. Um, Gus Edwards had some mean runs down. He was just going. The run game was seems to... Sorry. I'm just I'm excited right now, so I'm fumbling over myself. But yeah, the run game was phenomenal in the first half. And the Cleveland Browns seemed to have trouble with it. Now, they started to adjust to it in the second half. But that third quarter, they still had issues trying to get it done. However, you know, it wasn't nearly as, the way, nearly as effective as it was in the first half. And granted, even though Lamar had, I think, like a 31-yard touchdown run, which got called back because of a holding call on Max Williams, which I looked at it and... I, can, I don't really see a hold there, but you know what? It is what it is. The rest made the call. We have to live with it. But, yeah, they, they started to lock up later. And as the time went down, they started to lock up that offense. And eventually in the fourth quarter, they were able to contain Lamar Jackson in this run game. We still got a couple good runs in the fourth quarter, but they were able to contain us. Passing in, Lamar did, I'm saying, he, he did what he had to do. We already know his completion. He did what he had to do. And, yeah, he kept trucking it. Defense for the Ravens. Good Lord. Defense? Um, Jimmy Smith. Two interceptions. Jimmy Smith just came out with two interceptions. He's like, if, if you think Jimmy Smith should be gone at the end of the year, which I'm not going to give my preference about that. I actually talked about that on the live stream with Engraven Vids. You should go check that out on this channel. What am I telling you for? You're probably here because of Engraven. 
And Gravy, if you're watching, hi. But yeah, um, we talked about the live um, stream. We said Jimmy's probably not going to be back at the end of the year unless they restructure his contract, which is possible. But yeah, Jimmy Smith came out here with a statement game. He's like, I still want to be in Baltimore. Look what I can do. Marlon Humphrey, man, these are the type of games we talk about with Marlon Humphrey where some games he's so great and looking elite. And games like this where he's making rookie mistakes and it's just like, how are you going to let that happen? He had a lot of those times, <laughs> a lot of those moments in this game. But, you know, he still finished solid. Brandon Carr, you know, he got beat on one play. Um, Tony Jefferson made an appearance, so did Terrell Suggs. But, you know, they didn't really do much effectively. Eric Weddle didn't really do nearly as much. But, you know, he was still doing this whole thing. CJ Mosley, we're going to get back to you for a second. But, yeah, for the most part, defense. Yeah, defense was making plays. Defense was doing their job. Defense was making stops early on. But as Baker Mayfield continued to roll out and we have problems with these quarterbacks that are able to get out of the pocket. Mobility is a weakness on this defense, which is why Patrick Mahomes is going to be scary to face off with if we get that far in the playoffs. But, yeah, he roll, kept rolling out to his right and kept dropping dimes. It was tough, man. Tough, tough, tough. That Cleveland team is tough. That Cleveland team is not the same Cleveland team that we're used to. They are a great team, and they're coming for the AFC North next season. But, yeah, defense tried to do their best to contain Baker Mayfield, but Mayfield just kept going out there and throwing the ball. He made mistakes, but what he did when he made those mistakes, he came out there and played better. That's what I love from both Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. When they make mistakes, they go out there and they play better. They go out there and they make plays. And Baker Mayfield, boy, did he make plays. He actually... um. He, he now holds the record for the most touchdown passes by a rookie in his rookie season. He passes both Peyton Manning and Russell Wilson. He's got 27 now. I kind of expect he was probably going to get that, knowing how this defense was going to play him and knowing how Baker Mayfield, he does not fear any team you put against him. He went out there and did it. And the funny thing is that if he would have started from week one, he might have shattered that. He would have maybe had 35, 36 passing touchdowns. It would have been crazy. But defense, you know, they did their best. They tried to stop him. But then late in the game, they started to come back, and the defense felt tired. And we're sitting here like, here we go. Next thing you know, fourth quarter, two minutes, like two minutes left in the game. Sorry, under two minutes left in the game. And now Cleveland's got the ball. And Baker Mayfield's just dropping pass after pass on target, on target. One to Bashard Pyramid, who, by the way, Bashard Pyramid, I thought he was going to come out here and have an extraordinary game. And the way he started off this game, when he caught that touchdown pass, I was like, here we go. This guy is going to come out here in Baltimore and just tear us apart. But then he started disappearing. I'm like, okay, it's fine. And then he appears again late in the fourth quarter and makes a clutch catch. Again, I don't know if his second feet was down. It seemed like a drag a little, so I'm going to say it's a catch. But a clutch catch to put them in our own territory. And I'm like, oh, God, Bashar Perriman, here's his revenge. And then another pass. To, uh, to Landry, and he catches it, and he holds on to it, and has the ball right here. Does It, it touches the ground, but he still holds, has control of it. And I'm like, oh, God, they're already in field goal range. They're about to kill us. And then defense steps up. First down, nothing. Second down, nothing. Third down, nothing. Incompletion, incompletion, incompletion. Fourth and ten. We've been in this situation last year. Fourth and twelve against Cincinnati. And we sat back, and we let and <laughs> Andy Dalton... Pass up, get a touchdown pass to Tyler Boyd. Just took it in and shattered our playoff hopes. This year, 4th and 10, Baker took that snap. And C.J. Mosley, who is the player of the game for me, because defensive player of the game most definitely comes up with a beautiful interception to seal the game. And the Ravens win this one, and they go to the playoffs. You have got to give credit for Cleveland for fighting in that game because they did what they needed to do to win. Of course, we know about that blown whistle, that fumble at our own red zone that should have gone for a touchdown, but they blew the whistle. And I was like, that was one of those things that happened. Again, that's an unfair play that's taken away from Cleveland, but I'm one of the people that believe that that touchdown that Lamar Jackson had was taken away because of Max Williams on a holding call that I didn't see the hold. But that's football, man. There's a lot of unfair calls, a lot of misunfortunate events, and you just got to deal with it. But, yep, I got to get ready to watch this game here. So, yeah, Ravens. We did it! Well, not we, because I'm just a fan supporting you. But you guys did it! You did it! You got in the playoffs! You broke the curse! We're in, we're dangerous, and the Chargers are coming after us. I cannot wait to talk about that game. But, yep, we are in. It's time to celebrate AFC North Champions! Ha! <sighs> 
With that being said, thanks for watching. I'm AK and Go Ravens!